एवरीवन पीस बी अपॉन यू ऑल एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल वंस अगेन इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू गाइस हाउ टू क्रोशियत दिस स्कॉफ व्हिच इज मेड इन ट्यूनेशियन क्रोशियत टेक्निक इट्स वेरी इजी एंड सिंपल एंड इट गिव्स अ लिटिल बिट काइंड ऑफ निटिंग टेक्सचर टू योर प्रोजेक्ट लाइक दैट इट्स नॉट द वीडियो इज नॉट शोइंग इट द टेक्सचर द वीडियो इज नॉट शोइंग द टेक्सचर वेरी वेल बट इट्स वेरी नाइस एंड uh what you call it unique texture of the pattern and it's really very simple and easy to make even if you are new to crochet and if you know even the basics of the tunisian crochet you can make it very easily and uh, the yarn and crochet hook i used is the yarn i used is this one it's a lise burkum uh, yarn hopefully i'm i'm uh, pronouncing it uh, correctly and into the 100 gram of the yarn there is 230 yards or 210 meters of the yarn it's very nice and uh, thick yarn uh the crochet hook i used is tunisian crochet hook and it's i a crochet hook the size is i and uh, that's it i use two balls of this uh, yarn to make this uh, scarf you can mo use more or less or any how much you need it depends totally on the length of the scarf you want because it's a scarf and it's a long uh, scarf uh, scarves are always very long so it's not easy to show you the whole scarf in one frame but still i have tried to zoom out and show you guys how the texture of the scarf is this is how it looks i have attached some fringes here the only thing i just wanted to tell you that after i have made the length of the scarf you guys if you guys want to skip the video you can just skip the video by making one half double crochet into each and every round here and here what i did is that i made a uh, half double crochet shell stitch uh, there are two double half double crochet chain two two half double crochet and into the space of that chain two i have made these fringes or tassels or whatever you want to call them so after uh, i have completed the length of the scarf if you want you if it's little bit boring for you you don't want to watch the video where i have did this you can just simply skip that so let's start hopefully it will be easy to follow and uh, instructions will be um, as clear as in, uh, they can be i'll try my level best so let's get started in this scarf i made 25 chains but for the sake of the video i am going to make 15 chains so that i can save some times same some time you can use as many chains as you want to totally depends on the thickness of the yarn and the width of the scarf or whatever you are making it depends on that so what i am going to do is i am going to start up with simple slip knot and then i will make chain 15 and 15 I am going to insert my crochet hook into this is the first chain and this is the second chain. I am going to insert my uh, crochet hook into the second chain from the crochet hook and pull up a loop. And then I will do the same into the next chain and pull up a loop. I am going to pull up a loop into each and every chain all the way to the end. and then into the last one as well 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 plus 1 so we made 15 chains we should end up with 15 loops on our crochet hook what i am going to do now is i will pull i will pull through first loop 
and then we will pull through two loops at a time all the way to the end like that So our first round is done. What we will do in our next round is we will go below and into these two loops. First two loops we will insert the crochet hook and pull up a loop. Then we will wrap the yarn around our crochet hook and insert into next two loops and pull up a loop and then into the next two loops and pull up a loop each time you are going to wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and pull up a loop through two loops like that all the way to the end until you reach last two loops like that now we are at the end there are only two loops left here we will wrap the yarn around our crochet hook and insert the crochet hook into second last loop only and pull up a loop and then we have this last loop left we will insert the crochet we will not wrap the yarn around crochet hook we will simply insert the crochet hook into last loop and pull up a loop And now we will count our loops 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We should end up with 15 loops again. Again we will pull through first loop and then we will pull through two loops at a time. Like that. and the last one this is how it looks right now maybe you can't see the texture very well right now but it will it will work it will work later on when we will make couple of more rounds now into the next round what we are going to do we will insert our crochet hook through this loop and this loop which is a little bit behind little bit on the background we will insert through this one and this one the loop on the background this is the loop which is on the front this is on the back we will pull through these two loops without wrapping our yarn around our crochet hook now we will wrap the yarn around our crochet hook pull uh, insert the crochet hook through first loop and then the loop which is little bit behind and pull through again next loop and the loop that is behind if you look closely there are two loops one is here this one and one is that one we are going to work this loop and this loop and we will work the leftover loop and then the next loop on the background in next uh, step pull through both of them wrap the yarn around your crochet hook insert the crochet hook through the loop and the loop which is on the background pull through all the way to the second last loop like that wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and insert into the second last loop only and pull up a loop 
and then don't wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and go into the last loop and pull up a loop and now we will count our loops again one two three four five six seven plus one so we have 15 loops again we will pull through first time we will pull through first uh, one loop only and then we will pull through two loops at a time all the way to the end two loops at a time these are the last two rounds we are going to repeat i will show you guys once more and then i will make rest of the video rest of the scarf off camera so that i can save some time we will go here not this loop but this loop and the loop which is on the background or which is behind pull up a loop through these two loops and then i will wrap the yarn around your uh, my crochet hook insert the crochet hook into the loop which is on the front and the loop which is on the behind pull up a loop again wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and pull up a loop through two loops do this all the way to the second last loop like that wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and insert into the second last loop and pull up a loop don't wrap the yarn around your crochet hook insert into the last loop and pull up a loop one two three four five six seven and one you should end up with 15 loops again pull through first loop at once and then two loops at a time all the way to the end that's it repeat last two rounds as many times as you want to or as many times as you need to until you get the length of the scarf or whatever you are going to make until you get the length of the until you get the desired length i will make rest of the video off camera and then i will resume the video again so my scarf is done the i got the desired length of the scarf what i am going to do now is you can join it anywhere i'm going to join here into this corner and i will make chain two this chain two does not count as our first half double crochet i have made this uh, chain two to just come a little bit up what i am going to do is i'm going to make one half double crochet into each and every these uh, rounds here you can see these holes uh, or these gaps i am going to make one half double crochet into that like that like that just one plain half double crochet into each and every of these gaps all the way until i reach on the top of this uh, scarf or into the next corner and then i will resume the video again i have reached at the <coughs> end of that uh, side and i have made one half double crochet into that what i'm going to do is i'm going to make one more half double crochet chain two and two more half double crochet into the same 
gap one and two now this is the gap i'm going to make one single crochet into that into the next gap into this hole i'm going to make two double half double crochets one and two chain two and two more half double crochets into the same space single crochet into next space two half double crochet chain two two half double crochets into the next one single crochet into next i will repeat this pattern all the way here and then i will do what i did here i will make one half double crochet into each and every space or gap or whatever that is and then on the smaller side or on the uh, wider uh, on the width of the scarf i will do this again and then i will join the uh, i will resume the video when i reach here i am on the other uh, side of the length of uh, sorry width of the scarf what i am going to do is i have made the stitches on the corner what i am going to do now is i am going to skip next two chains and in next two chains and into the third one i am going to make a single crochet again i will skip next two chains and into the next one i am going to make two half double crochets chain two two half double crochets more into the same chain skip next two chains and do single crochet into the next repeat this all the way to the end and then here i will resume the video again sorry i made a mistake here what we are going to do is that we are going to skip one chain instead of two and then single crochet into next and again we are going to skip one chain and then two double crochet half double crochet chain two two half double crochet into the next again we will skip one chain and single crochet into the next so i am at the end of this uh, round this is where i started i ch made chain two which i said that uh, that does not count as our first half double crochet so i'm going to make two more half double crochets into the same stitch chain two one more half double crochet and then i'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first half double crochet by skipping starting chain three and then i will cut the yarn and pull it to secure it i am almost at the end of my scarf the only thing i need to do or uh, the only thing i have to do is to attach the last fringe or last tassel and then our scarf is ready it's very easy easy and simple just pull the yarn and cut them at the same length as other fringes and tada <laughs> so are you done and your scarf is finished it's done it's complete um, I have again tried my level best to make the video as detailed as uh, I could. Still, if there is anything that is missing or if there is anything confusing or if there is anything that you guys did not understand, please let me know and I will try my level best to help you guys as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my video channel, like my video, please comment below whatever your thoughts are. Thank you so much for watching. Peace be upon you all and happy crocheting.